Decorative lighting can be a huge part of home decor. But have you ever thought about what goes into designing these beautiful fixtures? Well, we came out to Hialeah to find out. Hi, I'm Renee Quintana, and this is my business partner of 27 years, Laura Goldblum, and we're the principals of Fine Art Handcrafted Lighting. At the heart of our brand, we are a design company, and we celebrate the artistry of design. So we don't think about just making lights, we think about making sculptural works of art. We explore the beauty of handcrafted lighting right in our own backyard on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Beautiful chandeliers, lamps, and sconces are those gorgeous fixtures that really help a space shine. But it all begins with designers who create these light fixtures as a work of art. Today, we get an inside look at the artistry of creating handcrafted light fixtures, the prototyping process from sketch to final product, the use of mixed materials to match your home decor, and so much more. Laura and Renee, it's great to have you here on Soplo Home Project with us today. Good morning. It's great to have you. So we are in, this is the showroom, part of Fine Art Handcrafted Lighting, and this is also the area where you house your production facility as well, all under one roof. That sure great. is. That's great. So I'm excited today because we are really going to take kind of a deep dive into, first of all, what handcrafted lighting is. So Fine Art is a different type of company. We don't really consider ourselves a lighting company at all. We actually design and create art. So we've been in South Florida since the early 1970s. We believe that lighting is an integral part of the design. It's not an accessory. It could be the central character of any space. We challenge our designers to come up with something new, unique, and that could be a special work of art in a room. I love the way you put that, that sometimes the central piece of it the whole is. room is the light fixture. One of the things that distinguishes us is that we really cover across all styles, going from a more traditional, something along the lines of what's here behind Renee, Beautiful, yes. which is our bevel darks feature. And this can go into, by the way, a more traditional home, but also could be placed into a modern home as well. Absolutely. For you homeowners. Yes. But we also go There's so many more contemporary styles. in interpretation. And the advent of LED has really allowed us to go into design into areas that we've never gone before. And we have a great team of people that are really on top of the technology and the glass capabilities that we have. Oh, that's great. And let's dive a little deeper into the LED technology sort of changing the sure. game mm -hmm. in terms of design of the fixtures. Because as we're looking here, you don't see the bulbs. Obviously, it's, no bulbs. it's integrated yeah. within the fixture. The more modern, contemporary looks tend to lend themselves for the more sleeker look. And this is a good prime example yeah. of where we used LED technology hidden within the framework to beautifully illuminate this handcrafted piece of glass. Looks like jewelry, like a diamond. Um, it truly really does. And, and it I really sparkles. Speaking of sparkle, like there's yeah. almost an iridescence in here. What is that that I'm looking at? You know, it's Good. dichroic glass is what it's called. It's, it's all actually was used in, in NASA originally wow. on the windows of the, the space shuttles. And it, it is thin glass coated with a film of metal that actually reflects the light inside. So when we talk about that being that statement piece in a home, how could this not? Yeah. It's so beautiful. <laughs> now as I we go so. down here, there's more, a lot yeah. more modern pieces, some really interesting stuff. And what I kind of love is almost these really large scale pieces. We definitely are known to have more bold statement pieces um, and that's absolutely reflected here. Yes. These are all custom designed, hand cut crystal pieces. Nothing is off the shelf in anything we do. Coming up, we get an inside look at how handcrafted light fixture design concepts begin to take shape on SoFlo Home Project.
Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are here at the Fine Art Handcrafted Lighting Showroom and Production Facility, joined by Peter Yera. Hi, Elena. Welcome to our design studio. Peter, so this is awesome because I think you're going to kind of bring us through what is really the heart of the home here at Fine Art. I feel like the most fascinating thing about you know design in general is kind of seeing how it starts. The inspiration really comes from all around us. So a lot of the inspirations could be nature, whether they're branch forms, as with the foray collection that we introduced. It also could be just man-made uh, objects as beautiful jewelry. So that. here's a form of that. And then the most magical part is really when nature meets man-made objects. So here we have a paper, a man-made paper, and how that interacts with the wind. Are all of these inspiration or fixtures that are you're working on or yeah, so what do you our, have on our here? design uh, studio here we create mood boards to give us a visualization of our collections that we want to introduce so, aside from so here we have a collection that we're working on now this is uh, inspired by um, airplane forms and blades so, so cool. uh, yeah so we'll start with hand sketches which you'll see here then we have to actually make this into reality, so we have our CAD drafters and engineers will actually engineer everything together. And then from there, we also produce 3D models and prototypes, which we'll talk about a little bit later what on. What I'm here. looking at here. So this particular collection here, Peter, I'm seeing like this is part of a mock-up of, of some of that or inspiration as well? Right, so what we'll do is we'll just pull forms that are similar to what we want to uh, create just to see how the lighting works. And again, so cool. the uh, whole design process is not a linear process, but it's it's a journey. So as we have original inspirations and materials that we, we think we want to use, over time it can morph a little bit. And the great thing about also working here in our design and development area is that a lot of our prototypes, we will live with it. We will have it in our room, in our space, and, and that way it just gives us an opportunity to really get a feeling for it in different perspectives, different views. Nice, so a lot of editing happens it's from editing. you know concept to completion. Yeah, You're you have to be okay with changing. that journey. So now, Peter, let's walk up here. I want to look at this particular one here. You've got a lot of you know parts and pieces and things. Explain to us kind of how this sort of works in your process. A lot of our collection that we introduce are crystal lines. Here we have a collection, a uh, working name now, we call it Suspend and it is just a suspension of crystals. But what we did was cool. take your traditional uh, crystals that have, let's say, symmetrical facets, and we came up with our own sculptural crystal form. So here we have these Beautiful. C shapes that are a little bit more architectural. So you can see the evolution from the initial concept of sketches, 3D printing, and then also then we start to actually put together component drawings for our manufacturing team to start manufacturing. This is so cool. Peter, we're gonna get a chance to kind of go a little further into this process of the creation of beautiful light fixtures like we've seen here so far. But before we do that, let's check in with Mike Martinez from USA Windows and Doors and see what great advice he has for us today. Hey, this is Mike with USA Windows and Doors. We're here in the warehouse so you can see the, all, the, all the options we have available to you. Here at USA Windows and Doors, we're all about solutions. Too many other companies out there, they offer one window, one solution, no other options. With us, we can go with ES Windows, we can go with PGT, CGI, you name it, we've got the option for you. If you're looking for large glass, big storefront windows, we can do that. If you're looking for bay windows, we can do those, and we can do the small windows just as easily. The point is that we offer solutions where others are held by contracts. We do what, we, what others can't do, and that's bring lots of variety into your life. Every situation in every house is different. In your application, we'll send our professional consultant out to talk with you. That free estimate is not just about getting a price, it's also to find out what your needs are. Here at USA Windows and Doors, we're about solutions. You want to make sure you're protected in that next hurricane? Of course you do. But what about every single day? Energy efficiency. What if you're talking about making sure that you have some intruder protection? We at USA Windows and Doors, we're going to look at those things, we're going to ask you some basic questions, and we're going to provide you a solution. The solutions to see in the warehouse behind me. Here at USA Windows and Doors, the customer's needs are always first. Give us an opportunity to show you that we can provide the solution that you need. Call the number on the screen. 
Check us out on our website, usawindowsanddoors.com. Let us come out, give you what you need. Thanks, Mike. So Peter, I'm excited to see what you've got for us here because we want to share kind of concept to completion. Sure, so I love to show you our latest introduction. We call it the Antonia line. It's a collaboration we're doing with one of our guest designers, Antonia Casado. This was their initial concept that they sent to us. Very cool. So they were thinking about painted finishes. We decided to use, and we're really excited about this, parchments. Very cool. So you kind of figure out how to make, obviously the illumination, it has to light beautifully as well as look kind of sculpturally beautiful so there's a lot to think about there is kind of making that all work this is well behind us is the actual fixture it looks like here's yeah? the actual fixture so here is our first time that we're actually introducing a parchment and here's some beautiful selections that we decided to use in this collection so this is really a beautiful material options that we have for our customers so you could pair different ones you'd use this parchment with a different metal finish That's right and, so and each on. each combination really brings out a different unique feel as a designer for me it's really important to see these kind of mixed materials. Mixing appropriate materials creates beautiful design. Sure. You know, it really brings it to another level. And we're excited about it, not only for this collection, but in, in upcoming collections. We're going to shed a little more light on the process of designing beautiful light fixtures, so stay with us. Coming up next, we explore the concept of decorative lighting as that jewelry for the home on SoFlo Home Project. SoFlo Home Project is sponsored in part by Eldorado Furniture. Looking to refresh your home? Visit us online at eldoradofurniture.com or a showroom near you. Well, I am here with Terry from Florida Solar and Air, so thanks so much for letting us come out and kind of talk about what solar has to offer. Thank you. But when it comes to someone that's still unsure, doesn't really know how to go about it, why should they choose solar? We are in the Sunshine State. We all need electricity, and now we have a choice of where to get it from. So one thing that really makes y'all unique is you really assess each process with the client. So talk a little bit about that. We are also a general contractor, and one of the things that we want to do is we want to do a full evaluation of your home. We want to do a needs assessment to see what we need to do to make the house more efficient. We, we check the roofing to make sure that the roof is in, in, in good standing in order for us to attach panels to your roof. We will verify your appliances, your air conditioning, if you have a pool, the pool equipment and we'll make recommendations so that there's less penetrations, less panels needed on the roof to make sure that we maximize and make the house the most energy efficient. Once we do that, my sales representative will sit with you. We will design a solar array of your home. You will be able to see exactly what it's going to look like on your roof. And then from there, we, we talk about what to do so that you can go solar. Now, there's a lot of efficiency when it comes to using solar, but the big question is, you know, the cost. When it comes to my FPL bill, how is that going to change when I am using solar? So the the idea is for you not to incur an additional bill. So what we do is we size the system so that instead of you paying FPNL, you're taking that money and investing it into your home and in return adding value to your property as well. I actually have a couple of bills from some of my customers that they approve. It's an $11 a month bill because you still have to be connected to FPNL. A customer that did work with us two years ago has a fixed bill that has not increased where FPNL has had two price increases this year. Is there any upfront costs? What do I need to know when it comes to just going for it? There is no upfront cost. With the PACE program, it's based on the equity that you have on your home and your ability to repay. One of the great benefits that this program has also is that your first payment might not start for another 12 months, if not longer. So some customers are actually saving money that first year because they're not paying FPNL and they don't have a payment. Now, are there any incentives to go solar? There is. There's a 26% tax credit that most of our homeowners qualify for. Now, if someone is ready to go solar, what are their next steps? Call now. Let's take advantage of that 26% tax credit before it's gone. Call Florida Solar and Air at 877-310-0310. Or you can visit us at the website, solarandair.com. Well, thank you so much. You have given us so much information. So thank you for letting us come out and see what you guys have to offer. Thank you. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra, and we are here at Fine Art Handcrafted Lighting, joined by Frank Gonzalez. Hi. How's it going? Hey, Frank. So you are the director of R&D here yes. at Fine Art. 
Correct. <laughs> so we had just spoken with Peter, talking a little bit about the design process and kind of the conceptual stuff. And how, where do you fit in in this process and what you're working on sure. to create the decorative lighting? I look at the concepts and really try to figure out how to build that. One of the key things that I love to, to keep in mind is the manufacturable portion of it. So making sure that we can manufacture it, put it together, and it's easy. So now everything <laughs> is made here. Your production facility is actually right, right the, the, steps the, away, the, right? Right, right? So I'm sure that must make it easy when you are working on all of these processes. Yeah, yeah it makes things much quicker. You know, we've got our own 3D printers. If I have some concepts, so I have 3D print portions of it, have portions of it done in metal, oh, go wow. out there, get them going, and just really test things out as quick as, as possible. So it keeps things moving. Like something like this would be 3D printed mm -hmm. to try out when you could do a mock-up or prototype? Correct, yeah, yeah, so that's a, that's, that is a 3D print right there. Just to get a sense of scale, you know, when you're looking on a screen, it's hard to understand how of big course. this piece is. Once the 3D prints are made of that, like something like this, wh what's the next step? Yeah, so it's it's looking at the piece and, and just figuring out how, we're, how the wiring is gonna pass through it and all that. Um, so for instance, if you could just pass me over that piece. Yeah, so light, so much lighter, super so this light. is the 3D print, yeah, right? Yeah, this is the 3D print right here. Um, we really wanted to figure out if the lighting on the bottom platform would light the piece evenly. So this this is a perfect example. We'd get that along with some glass, you wow. know, get it to fit, and that's, you know, we'll just light it up and see how it works. That's so cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. So now, we have seen a lot of these are 3D prints, we have some some actual materials right. too. So when, when the weight is involved, so I'm looking at something like this, the 3D2 actual weight, mm -hmm. Also considering things like the weight and the, how it can hold some of the beautiful accents? Yeah, so, I mean, for instance, we knew this was gonna be relatively heavy. I mean, we, we have a lot of experience with crystals, so it's coming up with a system that's easy enough that it doesn't cause any chips or any cracks when you're installing this piece. So for instance, this one is just a couple pins that go in and there's a cover that goes over it. Just again, trying to keep it as simple as possible. Well, you make it itself. sound simple. We know a lot yeah, goes into this, right? A lot of details and a lot of thought. And of course, some, some of the fixtures have bulbs and some have the integral LED. Correct. So depending on what you're working on, mm -hmm. That, that is a big part of it as well. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Light. I mean, um, for instance, there's there's no way with this one you can put an incandescent bulb. Right. So obviously we'll go with LED. Uh, the same with this. But for instance, this Asu piece, you know, was we wanted that act the bulb to actually the be beauty. part yeah. of the piece. So we featured it, not hide it. So it's all about sometimes you're playing it up, sometimes mm -hmm. you're completely concealing. Correct. There's so <laughs> much thought. I appreciate you spending time because this has been so cool. And um, I thank you. And now we're going to head back to the thank showroom you. after this. Next, we have more inspirational and beautiful light fixture designs on SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra and we are here at the Fine Art Handcrafted Lighting Showroom and Production Facility with Laura Goldblum and Renee Quintana. So Laura and Renee, I got a chance to see so many cool things, learn about the design inspiration that goes into creating these works of art that also are light fixtures. So you got a chance to see the secret sauce. So that, that was really good. Loved it. But, but our manufacturing capabilities and our design capabilities allow us to really customize our own product line. And then we can also take something that you come bring to us on a napkin and that we will make it come to life. That's often how the best that. design starts, that right? Is, that is, and, and, and we have done some incredible projects. Previously, Laura talked about our suspension collection, Elevate, and this is actually the most customized collection that we have in the line. They can have black spire glass, or they can have blank pages, and See, these so are cool. these are two wow. pieces of glass fused together. All of the handcrafted pieces that I've gotten a chance to see are amazing. But we've talked about how you customize a lot of fixtures. But yeah, as Renee mentioned, is that we can customize anything that's in our line. And Foray is one of our most beautiful, best-selling lines. And we had a customer recently that created this beautiful spiral down this magnificent home. And they came to us and said, we'd love to make a custom table that utilizes the branches and the crystal elements. So they literally hand sketched something 
on a piece of paper, and it is spectacular. Our products have graced estate homes all over the world, but probably our, our most notable custom project is here in Miami at the Lennar Center in Coral Gables in the University of Miami. They came to us several years ago with a project to create an art installation for them made up of 244 glass ibises. Amazing. The mascot for the University of Miami in the form of a U. So the capabilities are so broad and endless and the finished product so beautiful. And this has been just an amazing kind of eye-opening look into what goes behind the design of what we're seeing here. So, so I want to thank you both. This has been a great thank day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. Having us. And now let's take a look at what design inspiration we have for you next week on SoFlo Home Project. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we look at creating stylish spaces for dad to enjoy. We have design ideas to create the ultimate man cave for dad. And before we go, let's check in with Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he's up to tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? And that's the perfect serving of almonds. Hey there, Elena. I'm measuring almonds because we're talking about the importance of knowing how many calories that you eat. And we're also going to show you how to use a digital scale to track your calories. Plus, we'll also show you a place that'll help you build your own home arcade. And some delicious vegan Asian cuisine is also on the menu. It's all right here at 12.30 p.m. on the one and only Local 10 for SoFlo Health tomorrow. Thanks, Hunter. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers, we thank you for joining us this week. And we hope to see you again next week for another all new episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram, 